the next issue to look at uh, is uh, another data structure called a graph graph basically is made up of uh, two things one is a set of vertices and a set of edges set of vertices so the graphically representing we can represent uh, vertices are the nodes and uh, we can number them so these are the vertices so vertex v is a set consisting of 1 2 3 4 5, 6, and 7. And then we have edges which are uh, used to connect the vertices. So that's uh, the graph we have as an example and this graph has edges which is another set wherein we have edge from two that is it requires two nodes say there is an edge between nodes one and six there is a edge between nodes 1 and 3 and there is an edge between nodes 1 and 7 and there is an edge between 1 and 5 <coughs> same way between 2 and 6 we have 2 and 7 we have 2 and 3 we have and and four we have and then uh, looking from three three two three one we have already added then from four four two we have four to five then from five five to one five to four is already there so only left is five to seven and then from six to two six to one added seven to one seven to two seventy five all are added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 edges are there. So that's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So these are the 10 edges we have. So this uh, is a graph. Now this you can uh, visualize the graph in uh, many ways as a, a town planning or as a PWD we can uh, look this as nodes as the uh, towns and uh, edges as the roads as a computer engineer you can visualize nodes as uh, the computers and the edges are interconnection so it's uh, going to talk about uh, interconnectivity between the systems and so on so what are the way we can so there is a uh, one way of representation is uh, a graph is a pair each the pair of uh, set of vertices and set of edges the set of vertices are uh, is a set made up of uh, vertices in the set of edges is a set made up of edges so you can uh, define this in this way or we can also represent this whole thing in the form of a adjacency matrix 
what does it say is it talks about uh, whether things are connected or not so one is uh, connected with 3 one is connected with 5 6 and 7 so one is connected with 3 one is connected with 5 one is connected with 6 one is connected with 7 it is trying to say that 1 and 2 are not connected 1 and 4 are not connected directly so that's it 1 and 1 we are not interested in same way 2 is connected to 3, 4, 6 and 7. 2 is connected to 3, 4, 6, 7. 2 is not connected to 1. 2 and 2 connection we are not interested in. 2 and 5 are not connected. So 2 and 5 are not directly connected. So looking from 3 if you see, it is connected to 1 and 2. 3 is connected to 1. 3 is connected to 2. 3 with 3 we are not interested in whereas all others are not connected. Now looking from 4 it is connected with the 2 and 5. So 4 is connected with 2, 4 is connected with 5 and others we are saying that they are not connected. 4 with 4 we are not interested in. Then looking from 5 it is 1, 4 and 7. From 5 it is 1, 4, and 7. So 5 is not connected to 2, 5 is not connected to 3, 5 and 5 we are not interested, 5 is not connected with 6. Now looking from 6 it is connected to 1 and 2 only. So 6 is connected to 1 and 2, 3 is not connected, 4 is not connected, 5 is not connected. 6 and 6 we are not interested, 6 and 7 are not connected. Now finally looking from 7 it is connected to 1, 2, and 5. So 1, 2, and 5. 3 is not connected, 4 is not connected, 6 is not connected, 7 to 7 we are not interested in. So if you look at it, uh, so one thing we can find that uh, this, as far as this graph is connected, so you can uh, say that 1 is connected to 6 and same time 6 is connected to 1. So it you can move from 1 to 6 or 6 to 1 because no direction is mentioned here. So this type of graph we can call it uh, undirected graphs. And uh, there are uh, other cases where they are directed also. And uh, another thing is they are not having any weights that means so these are unweighted graphs so each one so is they're connected or not connected is important here so we are not showing uh, the weights for this so this is an unweighted uh, graph it's undirected graph so that these two things can be seen from here it is undirected that means whatever happens uh, from 1 same thing will happen to 1. So if you look uh, row 1 it is uh, dash 0 1 0 1 1 1. Same way if you look in the column dash 0 1 0 1 1 1. So that means this matrix is symmetric. So the matrix is symmetric if it is undirected. If it is directed, it will not be symmetric. Second thing is, if you look at it, there are only zeros and ones. So it's a binary type of thing because it's uh, uh, unweighted. If it was weighted, then we would mention weights here as we have seen in our previous lecture about uh, finding the minimum spanning tree and all that. 
yeah that's uh, what we call a graph this graph may be directed if we have directions to this then the whole thing would be different so let me just uh, try to fix up that one Now, if I say there are directions, then our whole uh, matrix would uh, look different. Now, what changes you see in this? Uh, whole thing is 1 to 6 is there 1 to 6 is there but 6 to 1 will not be there same way 1 to 3 is there which means that 3 to 1 will not be there then 1 to 7 is there which means 7 to 1 will not be there then we have 5 to 1 which means 1 to 5 will not be there. 1 to 5 is no more existing. Then 2 to 6 is there. 2 to 6 is there. That means 6 to 2 is not there. Then 7 to 2 is there, which means 2 to 7 is not there. Then 7 to 5 to 7 is there, which means 7 to 5 is not there. 2 to 4 is there, which means 4 to 2 is not there. And 2 to 3 is there, which means 3 to 2 is not there. 1 to 3 is there, 3 to 1 is not there. What else remaining? So how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 are there. So do we have 10 ones? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So other 10 be removed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. One more left, which is... Uh, 5 to 7 is there, 7 to 5 is not there. 6 to 1, yes, we removed. 1 to 5, we removed. 2 to 7, yeah, 2 to 7, removed. 4 to 2, so we just uh, look at whether they are right or wrong. So 1 to 3, 1, 2, 3, it is right. 1, 2, 6, it is right. 1, 2, 7, yes, it is right. 2, 2, 3, 4, 6. 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, 4, 2, 2, 6, yeah, they are right. 3, 2, so from theory, nothing goes out. Well, both are cancelled. From 4, 4 to 5 is remaining. 4 to 5, yes, it is right. From 5, it is 1, 4, and 7. From 5, it is uh, 1, 4. 1 to 5 to 4 should be removed. So 5 to 4 should be removed. So 10 are removed, 10 are remaining. So that's uh, all these are going to be zeros. And this is what we call a erected graph because there is direction and still it is connected or not connected is the issue so this is binary so we have this the next option would be
another case where we talk of weights this is having weight 2 this is having weight 4 this is having 6 this is 8 this is 10 this is a 12 this is 4 this may be 5 this is 2 this is 1 so that way in this case now what you will get is instead of uh, these values the now the values will change so what do you get now let me just uh, take this for my reference so that I don't have to spend much time on uh, creating this table again so only minor updates can solve the problem okay so one to six one to six is two so six to one is also two then 1 to 5 is 4, 1 to 5 is 4, so 5 to 1 is also 4, then 1 to 7 is 10, so 7 to 1 is also 10, so 1, 6, 1, 5, 1, 7, 1 to 3 is 8, so 3 to 1 is also 8. Now 2 to 6 is 6, so 2 to 6 is 6, 2 to 7 is 12, then 2 to 4 is 2 and 2 to 3 is 1. Then from 3, it is uh, 3 to 2 is uh, 1, and 3 to 1 is 8, yes, we have done. Then from 4, 4 to 2 is 2, and 4 to 5 is 5. Then from 5, 5 to 1 is 4, and 5 to 4 is 5. Then from 6, 6 to 1 is 2, 6 to 2 is 6. Six to 1, 6 to 1 is uh, 2, 6 to 2 is 6, then 7 to 10. 7 to 1 is 10, 7 to 2 is 12, and 7 to 5 is 4. So that's a new adjacency matrix for this. Now you can see that they are, the matrix is still symmetric because it is uh, undirected but weighted. Similarly, you can add direction, then this matrix becomes unsymmetric and uh, others will become zero. So that's uh, different ways of presenting uh, the graphs. So we can present graph in the form of a set of vertices and uh, edges as shown here, or it can be a human friendly uh, graphical version or a machine friendly this version or the best one would be a matrix version or just NC matrix. So the first one we look for a directed graph binary, second one we look for undirected graph uh, 
uh, first one we would look for undirected then we look for directed both were binary then we look for uh, weighted graphs so first we look for directed then the same we can think for undirected the same you can think for directed weighted graphs so that's it for now many more things to follow please keep watching thank you